Yo, Tony B. Giving you an update on um, what happened to me the other day. Well, yesterday. Uh, skinhead suspected white supremacist or whatever you want to call it. Comes up behind me. Bam! Bashes me in the head with a pole. I take three or four steps to chase him and I fall on my face and I'm out. Blood comes out of my mouth, out of my nose. I thought I was really, really, really damaged, y'all. But um, thanks to this headband, I just got a big ass bump on the side of my head. I've been dizzy as hell coming in and out of consciousness sometimes, um, slept real good, um, hope there's no internal bleeding, but there ain't no bleeding on the outside, um, yeah, everybody on Hate Street saw it, um, had a lot of people come to my rescue, even the police, they were cool, caught the guy, identified him it's just really interesting you know cowards hit people from behind if he would have squared up with me whatever it would have been what it is I can handle my own I'm not no easy you know I'm not gonna be no easy win I'm not saying I'm Bruce Lee or I'm Mike Tyson but I ain't gonna be no easy win um, shit. Wow. Um, the universe says when you're doing something beautiful and powerful, opposition always gets heavier and heavier. I'm really making an impact with my art. Really making an impact on the people whose lives I touch every day. Now, I could go out there now and be super militant. Be super Nat Turner, Dr. Colin ish, but I won't. You know why? Because Martin Luther King said, Darkness cannot chase out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot chase out hate, only love can do that. I'm going to keep on loving, I'm going to keep on being beautiful, I'm going to keep on representing for real hip hop. I'm going to keep on enlightening people with my art. Even despite all the racism, the vitriol, the Jim Crowism, the blatant hatred. People see me and they get to the end of the block, see my art, and they will cross the street, walk down the other side of the street, and look up in the air, or look anywhere not to look at my art. Just real, real... 60, 50, 40 segregate, like real blatant racism. Despite all that, my heart ain't for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody. I'm there for somebody every day, whether it's the dogs who I give treats, who love me. People's pets rush up the block, come to me. They leave their owners and rush to me just because they know I'm going to give them a treat whether it's the children who rush over to me because I got a big jar of lollipops and they know they can come get a piece of candy or they want to just ask me a question. Whether it's the artists who just want to come ask me a question so I can inspire them for their art. Whether it's the ladies, the beautiful young sisters, young girls who just love the fact that I always notice who they are and give them a compliment without anything attached to it. Always give them good energy without having an ulterior motive of trying to get them in the bed or just do any of that. I'm just recognizing their divine femininity. Whether it be the male people or the bus drivers who say I acknowledge them and they, they deal with so many unruly passengers and I give them love. Whether it be the people in the neighborhood who just love coming out 
and walking by me because they know I'm going to speak to them. I'm going to say something positive. I'm going to enlighten them for the day. All the little things I do for the people. I can't stop doing that. Even though my head is like, oh, really messed up. And today is Tuesday. It's going to rain on Wednesday. So I will be out there to, to tomorrow or Tuesday. Yeah, it's Monday night right now, but... I'll probably post this. It'll be Tuesday. But, yeah, um, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Try to let this shit go down a little bit. I know this is a long video. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, voice is gone. Really been going through it. But I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Come out to the hate. I'm not going to hate. I'm going to just continue to elevate on the hate. I love y'all.